Chipmunk of Power presents Writing a Simple Story Why can't you just write a simple little story? It's a question asked often by lay people, and it's true that some writers are quite capable of writing just that and nothing more. And many of us intend to do just that and nothing more. But then there are those times when the story takes off with a mind of its own, and your simple little story has turned into a 12-book epic series with several spin-offs. There may be some t-shirt designs in the offing. For those of you who still don't get how this can possibly happen, I offer up the following brief trip into the writer's brain. My Simple Little Story Once upon a time, there was a woman. She lived in a small house in a small town and never went much of anywhere. One day, she went out to do some gardening. She dug in the soil, a small hole for a small plant. Up and down the rows, one after the other, she found joy in the simple things. That is, until she dug the next hole and discovered a chest of pirate gold. <coughs> until she dug the next hole and found a giant rock. It took all day, but at last she managed to break it so that she could continue planting her soybeans. But when she broke it, a leprechaun popped out and offered her three wishes. No. Uh, the uh, breaking of the rock proved therapeutic. With every crack, she felt as though her spirit, so long held back, was finally being freed. And with that, the curse was lifted, and she became a superhero. D <sighs> you know what? Fine. Just go with it. And that's how the massive saga of Soybean Woman was born.